Hello everyone, it's Vu here and today I want to talk to you all about Alchemy and specifically its signature move, Decorate. This Pokemon's really interesting with all of its different forms and it's got some great moves, a Gigantamax form, but not least it has this signature move, Decorate, which I think has great potential and it really sets it apart from so many other Pokemon. Today I want to tell you all about that move, how it works and four ways to use it. But first, what is Decorate? Well, it's a support move that boosts the target's attack and special attack stat by two stages. That's a really great boost and we haven't really seen many of these moves where you can set up other Pokemon stats. Obviously you won't see this used much in singles as you will only be able to power your opponent to make them stronger which is generally not something you want to do if you want to win the battle. However in doubles, this is where you can give your partner Pokemon an insane power boost. There's really nothing like it so far in the game. You can get defense boosts with things like Aromatic Mist or temporary power boost with Helping Hand, but this is a really, really powerful move. I'm sure that there are plenty of ways that you could put partner Pokemon together to make the most of this, but here are four interesting ideas that I think you should think about first in terms of the way it works and what you can actually put with this move. And the first thing I think is really important to talk about is that it works through Protect. So if your partner Pokemon, a really strong attacker, is going for Protect, Alchemy can still give them a Decorate Power Boost, which I think is very important. Protect is used very widely in the doubles format because it can help you ensure that you have the right matchup on any particular turn. You can wait out weather turns, terrain turns, or potentially even Dynamax forms. So Protect is very important. And there'll be plenty of times when your Pokemon is protecting, but you can still get this Power Boost. So that is really important to consider when you're constructing your teams, that actually Protect is still a very good move to put on your Pokemon. Alchemy isn't the fastest Pokemon, so it's likely that your attacker will be faster than it. And if you want to ensure that your attacker gets that Decorate boost before it starts attacking, so on the first turn you'll probably want to protect with your attacker and go for a Decorate with Alchemy which will move after it. And that means that the next turn your attacker is ready to go with the attack boost and it can just decimate the opponent. So that's a really important point to note. My second point is actually along the same lines, trying to get that power boost before your attacker starts attacking and that's that I think you should tr maybe try it with a Choice Scarf and I don't think I'm too crazy in saying this. So as I said, Alchemy is a relatively slow Pokemon. However, if you invest lots of EVs in its speed, have a speed boosting nature like a Timid Nature and give it the Choice Scarf which boosts Alchemy's speed further, Alchemy can then potentially outspeed your attacking Pokemon that you want to boost with Decorate. And that means that on the first turn, Alchemy can go for a Decorate on your attacker, boost their attack, and then your attacker can go for an attack on the same turn and do tons of damage on turn one. Now, obviously there are potential drawbacks to this set because when you hold a Choice Scarf, you lock yourself into a move and locking yourself into Decorate, which is a non-attacking move, can be risky because that means that it really limits your options. However, I think there are two reasons why this isn't as drastic as it sounds, because firstly, if Alchemy faints, that's not the worst thing in the world. It means that you can bring in a different supporting one that can help with speed control. So Alchemy is helped with power, but your attacker still isn't necessarily the fastest thing on the field. So once Alchemy goes down, that means you can bring something in that can have Tailwind or Thunder Wave, something that can either slow your opponents down or speed you up once you've already got this Decorate boost. And that's a really great way to keep momentum in your favor. So if Alchemy faints, not the worst thing in the world. The second thing is that we can always Dynamax Pokemon and Pokemon with choice items when they Dynamax, they aren't locked into any move for those turns when they Dynamax. So that's really, really great. Especially with this Pokemon because Alchemy does have a Gigantamax form. It's actually a really useful Gigantamax form because some with their G-Max moves, their G-Max moves aren't always that useful. But Alchemy's G-Max Finale is a very good one to get. Much better than the G-Max Staff or the usual Fairy type move that just sets up Misty Terrain. This actually heals your Pokemon, especially on a Decorate set when you're already a support Pokemon. Being able to go for that G-Max Finale and heal your partner Pokemon is actually continuing support and dealing damage to the opponent. So that's really nice synergy. And with a Choice Scarf, obviously this is perfectly doable as well. So I really don't think that running the Choice Scarf is a bad idea on this. It means you can get fast Decorates off and then you can Gigantamax and get the healing support off. I think it's a really cool combo that you might want to try. 
The third consideration is that Decorate boosts attack and special attack, which for most Pokemon means that they're getting a slightly redundant boost, because most Pokemon only use either their attack or their special attack. Very few Pokemon use both. So you might want to try using this on a mixed attacker, and for example Tyranitar is something that usually runs physical and special moves because it's got a great special move pool, but it's got a very high attack stat. So you often see both physical and special moves on the same set. So Decorate would work really well with Tyranitar, just as one example of a mixed attacker. But actually, my third recommendation here is utilizing different Pokemon that benefit from both an attack and a special attack boost, and that is Pokemon that use either Stored Power or Power Trip. Both are moves that increase in base power depending on how many stat boosts the user has attained. And Stored Power is like a special Psychic type move that does this, Power Trip is a physical Dark type move. They start at 20 base power and for each stat boost you get on, on top of that you get another 20 base power. So after one Decorate, your Stored Power or your Power Trip will be base 100 power, which is a very strong move. Plus factor in that your attacking stat will have been boosted by two stages as well, so this is automatically a really strong attack. There are plenty of psychic types that you can use with stored power, and with power trip there are a couple of good options in either Pangoro, that's a little bit slow but he's very powerful, or Morpeko which is very fast but very frail, so you have to watch out. But with Morpeko you can actually boost your speed as well with your aura wheel attack, so that could be a really interesting option to go for. I think that this has a lot of potential with the stored power and decorate, especially if the stored power user is setting up itself, making itself bolt here, for example, that would be really cool to see. And I'm sure that we'll see some really cool Stored Power Decorate combos in the future. My last recommendation is not currently viable, it's more of a note for a very powerful pairing in the future that we need to keep our eyes open for, and this involves Swoobat. Swoobat's hidden ability is Simple, which we've seen in previous games, and Simple doubles any stat changes that the Pokemon receives. Swoobat is available in Sword and Shield, but unfortunately its hidden ability is not yet attainable. Even though it is available in max raid battles, you're not going to be able to get a Simple Swoobat in the games just yet, so don't waste your time looking for it. Simple Swoobat will likely be released as a distribution or a max raid event further down the line, but it has so much potential with Decorate. After one Decorate, it would get plus four attack and plus four special attack. And it's not a very strong Pokemon, but any Pokemon with plus four special attack immediately becomes very strong. And it's already really fast. It's base 112 speed. That's a very fast Pokemon. So once you've got these boosts, you're good to sweep. Combine that with the access to the aforementioned stored power. So you're getting plus four attack and plus four special attack in one turn. That's eight boosts, which takes stored power's base power from base 20 to base 180 in one turn with plus four special attack. That is going to nuke so many things, and actually even things that resist that stored power will likely take tons of damage. So Swoobat and Alchemy are looking like a really great partnership for the future. We just have to keep our fingers crossed that that simple Swoobat will come to the game one day. So that's really... My biggest, I'm just really frustrated that it's not out yet because I really want to try this out. I think it has so much potential. So those are my four ideas for Decorate for now. I'm still testing it out and I'm sure that you guys have tons of ideas too. So feel free to let me know about those. I hope you learned something and good luck in using Alchemy. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more. I've been Fu, you've been awesome and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.